Welcome to Doomcasts, a video series about Doom. Since this would be my first Emacs video in 2021, and to get myself back into the habit of recording Doomcasts, I decided to revisit the installation process of Doom Emacs. So if you've already been watching my videos, I think this particular video won't be that useful for you. I'll be adding some uh, bits and pieces here and there, so maybe you will find something. And I think it's a good occasion to revisit my first Doomcast that I recorded almost two years ago. So if you're new to the channel and new to Emacs, and in particular Doom Emacs, Doom Emacs is a configuration framework for Emacs that comes with this out-of-the-box experience. So you can install it and most of the things are already set up. So let's see how we can do this. And I will be using macOS. In particular, I will be trying to install Doom on the Apple Silicon M1. I think we won't have any problems, but this is also an, a good occasion to see how it works for this particular architecture. So because this is Mac, I will be using Homebrew and a formula called Emacs Plus. We can start by adding tab and then we could just install Emacs, but we will just check the options. So first, I would like to change the icon to match the Doom Emacs team. So I could use this icon, or there is also those two icons. So I think I will try with this one. And then I will be using the head option as well. And I think that would be pretty much, pretty much it. So this will be Emacs plus head and modern Doom free icon. So this will take a while. Okay, so it's done. And before we move forward, we will just copy the application from this directory to the applications. So it's Mac OS specific. I could make a link, but it for some reason it doesn't work with the Alfred application. So I'm just copying the build directly into applications. So now I can run it. As you can see, I have a regular vanilla Emacs installation. So it's not pretty. You have to configure that yourself. So let's close that and let's install Doom. But before we do, we need some dependencies. So you need git and rip grep. You also need core utils on Mac and fd, a find alternative written in Rust. So I already have that installed. And finally, also Mac specific, you need to install the Xcode tools. It's already installed on my site. So now we are ready to install Doom. And you do that by cloning the repository into Emacsd. So once it's cloned, we go inside the directory and we do Doom install. This will also take a while as Doom comes with many packages. So now all those packages are being installed. Once the installation reaches the end, we have this question about all the icons and of course we want them. So we say yes and it's done. So it's a good idea to run Doom Doctor to see if everything is in order. So it seems that it's mostly okay. We have just two warnings and we can disregard them for now. It is also a good idea to add this directory to your path so that you can run doom command from anywhere. So let's quickly do that. And at the bottom, I will just say home emacs d bin and the rest of the path. So now doom is available anywhere. So we could run Doom now, but before we do, let's focus on the font, because many people asked me in the past about what is the font I'm using. And the font is called Iosefka. So there are many types of Iosefka and many uh, variants. So the website, uh, the Iosefka website describes all the details and possibilities. So I'm using the Menlo style, which is SS4 but you can know by clicking, you can see the differences. The advantage of this font is that it's very narrow. It doesn't take much space. So if we, for example, compare it with uh, something like IBM Plex, as you can see, it's pretty wide and record as well, while Iosefka is very narrow and you can see more information. So there are many ways to install that. 
but on macOS you can again use homebrew so you need to add the uh, cask fonts already done that and then you need to install iosefka so you can just search for iosefka and you can see that you have many types and i installed ss4 and i also installed this uh, proportional font so let's start doom for the first time the font is pretty small and let's jump right away to the configuration so i will just open the config and here doom guides us for the first few steps so for example let's start with the font so i will be using iosfk ss4 and let's say 24 and let's say light and for the variable pitch for now let's say sf pro next uh, sf pro text which will be 20. so now if i press space hr to reload and then f for font i should get a new font and let's maybe change it a little bit maybe try regular so once we have that we can now play with uh, changing teams so you press space h t and then you can choose a team so there's much more options we can set here if you watched previous videos you know some of them but let's jump to the init and let's adjust it so the first thing is that if you read the the docs at the top you will see that you can enable certain modules certain packages here but you can also press uppercase k to see the documentation for a specific module so let's just see what we can do here so what i would like is to for example enable tree max and to use the tree flag for the undo and for the term we will be using v term the best terminal emulation in emacs so if i press uppercase k i see that it describes this uh, module this package so we are enabling that and what else we will need lsp but maybe later uh, tmux and now the programming languages so for sure dart and uh, json javascript yeah maybe i will leave it like that for the email we are not changing anything so now i need to refresh the configuration and i can do that by pressing space h r and r again and this will install the missing packages okay so it's done so let's quickly see if we have those packages so let's see for the terminal space open t it needs a vter module we need to compile it when we are using it for the first time now if i try again i have the terminal inside emacs so there is much more i will adjust it i will finish with the migration of my old config and publish it in a readable form that's all for now thanks for watching may the emacs force be with you